It's funny, you think you know an area well, but because you know you don't because you can't cover every inch you're passing through here and there. Today, because I'm not doing what I call one of my massive hikes, I thought I'd just branch off a little bit when I got up to near um, Draycott Slides and just come over this way. I've taken loads of photographs of an old stone barn, various other features coming out the ground, and then I came to a style which said Rodney Stoke Reserve. Now, I have been in a part of it before. When I get off at Rodney Stoke, um, to do Nylon Mound or something like that, there's a way up from Rodney Stoke where you can walk up through here. Um, and that might actually also link on from Westbury Submendep, which is further on again. I'm going to examine that because this might be a nice way, an alternative way, as opposed to going across the top where there are all the cows. So I'm going to look into that tonight. Meanwhile, there's some lovely little flowering wildflowers. The bees are busy. Um, <clears throat> Because the time is restricted as well, um, otherwise I might have gone down there and then walked back up, but not today, not, on, not when it's going to be a hot day. Um, and time, I'm not quite sure of the buses because of the COVID restrictions. I've got a feeling those restrictions of the buses are lifted because they put double deckers on so there's more space in. Sensible move. But anyway, there's the big plaque. Welcome to Rodney Stoke National Nature Reserve, Broadleaf Woodland, Calcareous Grassland, <sighs> www.naturalengland.org.uk. Tells you all about it. And at the moment I can only see sheep sheltering by a stone wall under some trees over the other side of this stile. So it was worth just coming off track a bit from where I was normally go straight up to Draycott Slides. I decided just to wander off a bit and I'll now investigate this other lovely bit of woodland on another day. And I will look into it tonight and I might even be doing it tomorrow because I'm thinking of making the most of the nice weather. And if the buses are running back back to normal tomorrow that's going to give me two extra hours so looks pretty good to me does look really good yeah it does looks like there's lots of places to wander I'll look into it tonight for now though my plan is to get up there. Um, I've just seen somebody in red. I'll just zoom in. So I'm hoping to have a picnic up there. Oh no, it's some cows coming down. Oh yeah, they're coming down. That's interesting. <sighs> My plan is to go up a minute, to go up towards the glider flag up there because gliders take off from up the top there's a little airport there for them so I, I'm hoping to go up there now, the cows are coming down um, from up there which means that I don't know if they're just on the move or they get milked or what so if they're coming down I can go up it just depends if they're going to come round and go up around that way <laughs> That'll take them a while. Well, I don't know, they move quick. So there's the avenue of trees, which I won't be covering today, but I might be. Never, never, you know, say no. But I've got to go up around the side there, climb up round the lower end, and then get on the top and find a nice rock to sit and have my picnic. That's plan A. Right, I'm going to... I'm getting over another lovely stile. There's another way in down there. There's the Mendip Hills over there. It is very misty today. There's an old stone barn there. I was only going to go over as far as the stone barn. Just to have a look. And I am going to go over to it in a minute. 
but I normally come from a stile over up by those trees there and across the top there when I come from places like Pretty. Um, unfortunately, fortunately for me today, there are no cows in here as far as I can see, but they could be over the other side. Um, lots of humpy bumpy things here, evidence of something. This is a very historic and geological area by the way. Um, going back to the Romans and maybe the Iron Age, you know, it's, it's lots of history here. Lots of history. So I'm leaving this area. And I'm going to make my way over to the stone wall barn, looking at features as I go along. Now there's a lovely view of Somerset, look, the levels, Brent Knoll. Lovely view there. And there's lots of like these, what I say, little humpy bumpy areas that were obviously mined or they got, they were farming barns. Even this is humpy, look. This has got history. Wherever you see humps and bumps and unevenness, and there is a history written about this, so it is actually recorded somewhere for people to see. So every time I come out now, I'm trying to find new information. Um, because I've got to know, if you like, the skeleton outline, I've walked several times, got to be familiar with the landscape, if you like, to a certain extent. Um, there's somebody coming now. So, somebody coming. There's the back of the barn there, somebody coming. I've kept the video rolling there. And I'll be going over that way. The cows are moving quite fast down off the top now. Yeah, they're coming down quite quickly. Yeah, look at that one. I wonder if they're coming back to be melt. Could be that they're coming down to be melt. I'm just going to stop and take some more pictures and come back on the video in a minute. Over in a minute. Alright, leaving the stone barn and the water pan. Coming over to here, I've got a feeling, I've just seen cows running down the hill and i got a feeling they do, and I've heard a farmer's tractor, I really feel they go back for milking. It's that time as well. They start come running in this field now. I'll know that they're coming this way. He's bringing them into the field. I just wonder if this was the remains of a building once. I expect it was. You know what I mean? Some sort of residence here. I don't really like going off track. 
because uh, this is like what I call ticky country around here, believe it or not. <sighs> yeah, you might have just opened the gate up and let them in. They all came running, running down the hill real fast. I'll be going down the other side of there in a minute. <laughs> Through a gate. It's just so beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful day. Axbridge Reservoir. A warm sunny day, everyone. And lots of archaeological features and geological features everywhere to be seen. Every hump and bump has got a meaning. Just like this little ridge here. Could have been an old terrace. Could have been an old miner's place but they scratch the surface off. And there's a up there's a stile that I normally climb over to go towards Pretty and Wells or come back that way. Just a little video everyone. Glastonbury right in the distance with the sun right in my eyes, so I can't really risk the camera too long looking that way. Over the side somewhere there's a stile and a gate. I'm definitely stopping next shady area to have a drink of water and take this big jumper off. Any minute now, let's just get out of the long grass. That's it. I won't bother climbing all the way up there, no. I just walk around this bit now. And there's Draycott's lights. A big geological formation. Carboniferous limestone probably. And down there somewhere is a gate. down there somewhere I know. Where is it over there? Um, I can never remember. Oh, there's cars parked there. Might be down. Oh, I can see it. It's over there. So I found it now. No sign of cows charging up this way. Because they might actually be on a course, you know. I think they've gone to the farm. So it's a steady climb down here now. People park their cars here and come and take their dogs for walks. All been videoed in the past, but not in 2020 until today. It's very hot by the way. I'm going to stop at the stile, water, and take jumper off. Over and out.